blub 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 Hey, Pap, I reckon you've been drinking too much whiskey. You smell as bad as a stall that hasn't been mucked in a few years. And what's all this here on my bed? What's all this Bud Light doing here? At school, I like it alright, but they're always yelling at me to pay attention while I'm in my own head making plans for Tom and me to be catching cow bandits. <laughs> Where you been anyway? You've been gone over three and eight years. Now you come in here telling me I can't read. I can read. Whatever, Pap. You'll feel different in the morning. Or who knows, maybe by the morning you'll be a thousand years old. You'll be blind and deaf by then, you old dog. No new tricks for you. I hate you. Just a slave. Huck and I were unhappy, so we decided to run away. Huck pretended he was dead. Huck's dead? I just can't live with my old pap no more. He's been home two days and already breathing down my neck every minute. Let's get out of here, Jim. You're right to be wanting to leave. And Huck, I'm tired of all them riding crops on my haunches. It's time we hightailed it north and got away from all of this. What do you say, Huck? Yes! Oh, Huck, this'll be great. Two steeds, just me and you, out on the fields, grazing to our heart's content. Look up yonder, Jim. Don't that little star formation appear to you like a horse riding in the night? Sort of like us, eh? Ah, I see it now, honey, being all brave and courageful. I imagine the Lord placed it up there this very night just so we could see it and be reminded of his glory. I reckon not, Jim. Star's been looking like that since months. And how and how he knows we'd even be looking at the sky this night. He knows everything, Huck, don't you know? He knows what we're doing right now, what we'd be doing tomorrow, how we gonna die, everything. But what if I changed my mind? What if I jumped out of this raft right now? Would he know that? Sure thing. I'll believe all that talk when I see some proof. Till then, I ain't gonna preoccupy myself with it. That horse up there in the sky, galloping and shaking its mane, fills me with an awful big sense of what I'm headed to, Huck. Makes me proud to remember that just in a little more days, I'll be a free horse, same as you. Won't gotta give no one rides that I don't wanna. Won't gotta stay penned up in a cage at night. I can't wait to trot at my own pace through the grass and under the big blue sky. Come on now, Jim. Let's get to sleeping. We don't need no more of that talk. All right. I suppose it's mighty late. Good night then, child. Thanks for everything you've done for me. If it weren't for you, old Jim be struck up by his neck and turned into glue by now. Night. I never did you wrong, you know. So why would you come back to scare me? What would make you think I would do such a thing? Well, why else would you be a ghost cow? I'm not a ghost cow. I never died. I was playing possum. Honest otter hound? Honest otter hound. Now I'm, now I'm trying to break Jim out and set him free. Don't judge me for that. I won't. I'll even help you break Jim out. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, 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 blub. Well, we could steal the key to the gate and break Jim out. That would be too doggone easy. We need to at least make it difficult so that we can be heroes. I, I bet we could push through the barn wall. It's all rotten and weak. It's just too easy. We need a better plan. I got it. 
We can dig him out from the other side of the barn. Blub, 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 blub. We should only use our teeth for digging. Why for? Because Jim doesn't have pods, and neither would you, you fat cow. Jim would have to use his teeth if he were the one digging the hole, so we can't cheat and use shovels. Well, I guess that makes sense, but it seems like a waste of time. Eh, after a good three hours of digging, they had made little progress. Not to mention that their teeth were filled with dirt and their jaws were sore beyond belief. Ugh, this is way too much work. Agreed. How about we use our cow shovels, but if anyone asks, we'll say that we use our teeth. Sounds good to me. Blub, 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 blub. Blub 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 Hey Jim Jimmy What? What are you doing here? Oh thank the Lord you came for me Of course he did We decided that we'd only wait a few days before starting so you could maybe starve a little. You starving yet? Well, if you mean that if I am, then you'd bring me some more of those treats, then yes, sirs, I am starving. Well, I don't know about treats, you know, because most good horse prisoners don't have friendly asses doing any of their prisoner duties for them. Well, Mr. Tom, I do suppose you're right. So no treats then, but what if I'm starving still? That's just it. We're doing great. Whoa. Well, all right then. I know. How about we all share one scrap of bread with a little bit of butter? Tom, didn't you say that prisoners can get bread? Because the bad guys don't want them starving to death. Because if they wanted them dead, they, they wouldn't be wasted a cell to keep them alive. Well, Huck, I never thought I'd say it, but you do have a good idea. I'll just go fetch that scrap bread. Well, Mr. Tom, that was some mighty fine prisoner scrap bread. And I do say that if I weren't no prisoner, I'd say I was full and content as could be. Ha ha! Why, thank you, Jim, but you are a prisoner. You are. So you gotta be a prisoner the right way. So you gotta start leaving your mark around your stall here. Mr. Tom, surely you don't mean... Why, of course, old Jimmy. I bet that after being in here so long without no grazing time that you've got a need to the likes of a racehorse. Well, I reckon I can hold it a bit longer. Why don't, why don't you let me out of that there hole you dug so I can find myself a place? No, sir, that ain't proper prisoner protocol. We won't stand here and make you do it in front of us. That ain't polite, even to a prison horse. Even to a rocking horse, I wouldn't do such a terrible thing as to watch him while he goes. No, sir, it's improper. But next time we come, I better find some good prisoner excrements in that corner. You hear? Yes, Mr. Tom. Mwahahahaha! <laughs> I see the prisoner is looking cold back there in his cell. We'll have to see about that! <laughs> Go and fetch a blanket! <laughs> yes, a very warm and cozy blanket! No, she wouldn't. I think she really might. Yes, we're going to make this here prisoner very comfortable. No. Yes! I bet his escaping would be the simplest, easiest thing to ever do. <laughs> no! no. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna drop it. Oh my god. I'm just a horse. I'm just a horse.
They're like freaking out. Like, it's hot, it's hot! <laughs>